This week, our heroes are Charles' daughter and Andreas Grunzig, two radiologists who pioneered angioplasty, which is a surgical procedure for treating blocked blood vessels. Charles' daughter was born in 1920 in Boston. In 1941, daughter enrolled in Cornell University's medical school. After graduating, daughter rose through the ranks, eventually becoming chairman of the University of Oregon's radiology department. Much of daughter's work surrounded imaging studies of patients. Back then, the standard imaging technique was to insert a catheter into the artery, squirt a dye, and then take an X-ray to check for potential blockages. Using those X-rays, surgeons would know where to operate. However, Daughter theorized that instead of using the catheter to inject dye, he could use progressively larger catheters to dilate the arteries and clear the blockages without intrusive surgeries. In 1964, Daughter tested his theory. A patient was hospitalized with gangrenous toes caused by an artery blockage. After the patient refused amputation, the surgeon in charge suggested that Daughter try his new technique. The procedure was successful, and a week later, the patient regained full mobility. Despite the success, the surgical community didn't warm up to Daughter's idea. Enter Andreas Grunzig. Grunzig was born in 1939 in Dresden, Germany. After graduating from high school in 1957, Grunzig fled to West Germany just before the communists closed the border. Grunzig then studied medicine at Heidelberg University. After hearing about Daughter's idea, Grunzig improved the procedure by using a balloon attached to the end of the catheter to expand the artery. Balloon angioplasty proved to be safer and faster than Daughter's method, and was soon accepted throughout the scientific community. For pioneering a procedure that has saved over 15 million lives and prevented millions of amputations, Charles' daughter and Andreas Grunzig are rightfully our 39th Heroes of Progress.